Hello everyone, welcome to Fahad's tutorial and I hope each and everybody out there are doing great. In this video, I shall be explaining about the acceleration due to gravity because on the next video, I shall be uploading uh, the rules of falling bodies. So, for understanding falling bodies, we need to know first what is the acceleration due to gravity and how it is determined. Because uh, understanding of this concept is very important because from, the, from that part, there are some mathematical problems that you need to complete based on the idea. So, before going to explain these things, uh, one thing is important that in previous classes of chapter motion, we studied about the Newton's law of motion. On that law, the second law was actually the F is equal to m a and you know it already as because the force is actually the cross production of mass and acceleration and this is the acceleration but when when this acceleration will be produced from due to the force of gravity so when the acceleration is produced due to the force of gravity so there is important word that gravity. What is gravity? I have already explained in the previous class that the attractions in between earth and any other bodies is called gravity. Though it's gravitation, gravitation means the attractions of any two bodies in this entire system or entire solar system in the universe. But if one of them is earth and the other thing is anything that it can be that this is this gravity and this gravitation is called the gravity because gravity is one type of gravitation so f is equal to ma we got it from the newton's second law and this acceleration means the the rate of change of velocity so the increase of velocity and this actually is not actually increase it can be decreased because acceleration can be two types positive acceleration and negative acceleration so both are accelerations so you can say the rate of change of uh, velocity uh, that is called the acceleration but if if it is produced due to the force of gravity then it is called the acceleration due to gravity and this expressed by small g and then we can say that f is equal to mg now we need to know how this g uh, we need to understand suppose suppose uh, suppose there is a Earth, and though we know that Earth is not uh, actually circular and it's compressed in the polar region, so this is the polar region and this is the equator. So this is the center of Earth. Uh, sorry, this is the center of Earth. And suppose there is something uh, nearby to the Earth surface. Huh? Nearby to the Earth surface. Suppose in the polar region there is something. So I write in a larger way and this is the center of earth. So if we see that what are the attractions in between these two bodies in earth and this particle. So if I draw a line, the joining line in between these two body, we actually get the radius of the earth. This is the radius of the earth. And this is the substance or this is the body. So I see that the the mass of the body is small m and we know that we use capital M to express the mass of earth. So if I see the attractions in between these two bodies like the earth and the bodies we got what? We know that the force is equal to g m1 m2 by d square but here we don't have m1 and m2 we have the mass of earth is capital M and the mass of the object is small m so we can have this capital M small m and the radius is the actual distance is r square so from this equation and from that equation we see that f is equal to mg and if we just make a transfer from here that f is equal to mg that m is the object mass then it would be like g m m by r square so we can erase we can erase this m both side because we got that 
g the acceleration due to gravity is actually g m by r square and this is the equation of the acceleration due to gravity so we have g and this g is actually this g is actually the acceleration due to gravity and if this is gravity and acceleration due to gravity and we know that the the unit the unit of the acceleration would be meter per second square you know and the dimension dimension of the the acceleration due to gravity would be l t inverse 2 so from this equation what we get we get that this capital g is the universal gravitational constant the magnitude of g is constant and also this capital m is the mass of earth and also the r is radius of the earth so the radius of the earth i mean the mean radius of the earth though earth is not circular it is compressed in the polar region and slightly wider in the equator region but we have a mean radius of the earth which is actually 6371 kilometer and we also have the mass of earth which is 5.972 into 10 to the power 24 kilogram so if we say that the m the value of m is 5.975 actually 972 in the google it's written 972 10 to the power 24 kilogram and the radius is 6371 kilometer so it would be like 6371000 meter as we know that to, to to use these things into the mathematics we need to use the mks so meter kilogram second so we need to work with this meter value so i hope you know it it's written on your book or somewhere it's very available in the google so m is the mass of earth and capital R is the radius of the earth mean radius of the earth so and also we know that g capital g is 6.673 times 10 to the power minus 11 so if i put this value here we will have the magnitude of small g is uh, like that 6.673 times 10 11 times 5.972 times 10 over 24 divided by 6371000 square if it is the thing then hopefully it will be 9.832 something like that meter per second square so we got the value of small g and very interestingly from the equation we see that the value of g is fixed and also the mass of the earth is also fixed what is variable slightly is the radius of the earth so if we just pointing here the radius of the earth from the center to the equator if it is r1 and this is r2 we can say that the radius of the equator is definitely larger than the radius of the polar region so what will happen as we know that that f is actually depending on d square that means the attractions of two bodies depending on the distance if distance get higher then the force will be smaller then what will be the actual explanation of this the equator radius is slightly greater than the polar region radius so the value of g the value of g would be less in the equator as because the distance is higher so usually the equator in the equator g is 9.789 meter per second square and in the polar region it will be g is equal to 9.8321 meter per second square
So there are some slight variations on the surface of the earth as this surface is not circular, it's slightly compressed in the polar region. So the radius of the earth is greater in the equator region. So the gravity of anybody depending on the polar and equator region varies. So usually the, the magnitude of small g is higher in the polar region due to the short radius of earth and the equator is slightly lower because of the higher, slightly higher radius. But to, to, to avoid the confusions, what is the exact value? The exact value is um, g is 9.80665 meter per second square where it's, uh, it's taken as an ocean level in 45 degree latitude in ocean. So, 9.8 is the apparently fixed value for the G. So, what is actually G, this small g? The G is the, the acceleration due to gravity because gravity means the attraction of earth to anybody, any particles or any object. So, if any object lies on the surface of the earth, it has some gravity so if we just freely fall down something it will fall and definitely by the time being the gravity enhance the rate of velocity is increasing so due to the acceleration due to gravity the rate of the velocity and uh, will increase and that is why it's constant and most importantly in this equation you see there is no where is written the mass of object so understanding or the calculating the determining the value of g the mass of object is not required so the g is fixed of an a fixed state for any any mass and object so this is very important i think uh, uh, on the next class when we will study about the falling bodies and some mathematics so those students right now are English versions or even all level students right now studying physics. I think each and every single concept is important to understand and uh, to, to understand physics we need to have a very clear concept uh, to reflect this on your mathematical explanation. So this value is fixed, you can have it Google. So 5.972 times 10 over 24 kilogram is the mass of earth. 6371 kilometer is the mean uh, radius of the earth and also we have g in my previous class i explained also written on your book that this is actually the newton meter square newton meter square kg inverse 2 is the unit of g so we need to understand that unit of g as it is acceleration would be meter per second square the dimension would be lt inverse 2 and we can find the determining of uh, the value of g for this process and of course we need to know that from uh, doing the sort of calculations regarding the g we will fix the value 9.8 approximately uh, nearly so this is a short description about the acceleration due to gravity on next class i shall explain the rules of falling bodies and some sort of concept regarding the falling bodies and then we will be explaining uh, simple pendulum and some mathematical problems related with this chapter. So see you on the next class and please do let me know what is your requirement. I shall try my level best to upload those class based on your requirement. See you, take care, bye.